Stripe Apps is the new way to extend Stripe. With it, you can build apps that simplify your own workflows or build processes that don't yet exist. Or you can build delightful public apps that you can upload to the app marketplace and monetize. In this series, we'll cover the fundamentals of Stripe Apps. We'll talk about what they are, how they work, and how you can get started building Stripe Apps today. Let's get started with a quick primer. Stripe apps are a way of extending Stripe services using something we're calling UI extensions. We're initially opening up the Stripe dashboard where you can run your app in a side panel. You'll be able to build private apps for your own use case. For instance, an app that simplifies a workflow specific to your company or public apps that can be installed via the app marketplace for all to use. Let's go through how it all works. A Stripe app will show up in the side panel tailored to a specific dashboard viewpoint. For instance, the to-do app shown earlier is specific to the customer detail viewport. See the docs for a list of available viewports. Users can open and close the side panel, which can display different content depending on the dashboard page they're on. The side panel is an example of the UI extensions framework, which is a combination of React, TypeScript, and a custom UI component library built by Stripe. You can access the Stripe API from within your app via the Stripe node SDK. However, sometimes you want to handle business logic on your own backend. This is easily achievable with Stripe apps, where you can make secure requests from your Stripe app frontend to a self-hosted backend. Plus, both the frontend and backend can make full use of third-party APIs to handle logic. This means you can build anything from a simple to-do task manager to a complicated business logic flow. Now that we've covered what Stripe apps are, let's get to the fun part and build our own app. To do so, we're going to use the Stripe CLI, which you might already be familiar with. The CLI is a tool we built to help you integrate with Stripe as fast as possible. It's also the way to get started with Stripe apps. Let's open up a terminal and get started. First, we're going to make sure we're on a version of the CLI that supports apps. Make sure you're in at least version 1.8.0. If not, please upgrade your CLI. Next, let's install the apps plugin with Stripe plugin install apps. Now we're going to create our new Stripe app with the command Stripe apps create and then the name of the app we want to build, which in this case, we'll use example app. We'll be prompted to enter an app ID, which is a unique namespace for our app. Let's stick with the default for now. We can always change this later. Then we enter a display name. We'll also stick with the default since we can change this later. The CLI will now download and install all the dependencies required for our, your app. It'll also create the new directory and initialize a new Git repo for you. Lastly, let's navigate to our new folder and start the app with a command Stripe app start. The CLI will start the local development server and open up a browser tab when we hit enter. Stripe will now ask us which Stripe account we wish to use. Let's stick with the one we have here for now. Once we hit the button, we choose what account we want to run the app on and we get redirected to the Stripe dashboard. The starter app uses a customer viewport. Let's navigate to a customer detail page. And there we have our Stripe app running in the dashboard. Notice how this is on the production dashboard, but your app running locally. Now that we've got a Stripe app up and running, check out the next video to learn about making code changes and seeing them reflected in real time in the dashboard. See you in the next one. <laughs>